Shalom and shalom and welcome to another funky daily Bible commentation. So today we're diving into the wisdom of Solomon chapter 10 and this is in the KJB verse 1. She preserved the first form father of the world that was created alone and brought him out of his fall and gave him power to rule all things. But when the unrighteous went away from her in his anger, he perished also in the fury wherewith he murdered his brother. For whose cause the earth being drowned with the flood, wisdom again preserved it, and directed the course of the righteous is a piece of wood of small value. Moreover, the nations in their wicked conspiracy being confounded, she found in the righteous and preserved him blameless unto God, and kept him strong against his tender compassion toward his son. Verse 6, When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire, which fell down upon the five cities. Of those wickedness, even to this day, wasteland that smoketh is a testimony. Um, plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness, and a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. For regarding not wisdom, that gat not only this hurt, that knew that they knew not the things which were good, but also left behind them to the world a memorial of their foolishness, so that in the things wherein they offended by, uh, they could not so much as be hid. Rut wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her, when the righteous fled from his brother's wrath, and she guided him in right paths shewed him in the kingdom of God, and gave him knowledge of holy things, made him rich in his travels, and multiplied his fruits of his labor. In the covetousness of such an oppressed, as oppressed him, she stood by him and made him rich. She defended him from his enemies, and kept him safe from those that laid wait. And in sore conflict she gave him victory, that he might know the goodness is stronger than all. When the righteous was solid, she forsook him not, but delivered him from sin. She went down with him into the pit, and left him not in bonds, till she brought him the scepter of the kingdom, and power against those that oppressed him. As for them that had accused him, she shewed them to be liars, and gave him perpetual glory. She delivered the righteous people and blameless seed from the nation and that oppressed them. She entered into the soul of the servant of the Lord and withstood dreadful kings in wonders and signs, rendered to the righteous a reward of their labors and guided them in mar marvelous ways, and was unto them for a cover by day and a light of stars in the night season, brought them through the Red Sea and led them through much water. But she drowned their enemies and cast them up of the bottom of the deep, Therefore the righteous spoiled ungodly, and praised thy holy name, O Lord, and magnified with one accord thine hand, and fought for them. For wisdom opened the mouth of the dumb, and made tongues of them that cannot speak eloquent. So it's interesting here. So you remember um, uh, smoke by day and fire by night. And so we have here in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 10, verse 17, it says, rendered of the righteous for reward of their labors, guided marvelous way unto them a cover by day and a light of stars in the night of the season, right? And then it goes into the whole thing of the Red Sea, right? Brought them through the Red Sea and through much water. So that's very interesting because that ties into the um, uh, cloud, uh, the pillar of cloud by day and the fire by night, right? It feels like a different version of that. And then there is here the pillar of salt, um, because we know that the wife was turned into a pillar of salt who looked back on Sodom and Gomorrah. And where is this? Um, here, verse 7. So this was to Solomon, <coughs> chapter 10, verse 7. Of whose wickedness, even to this day, the wasteland that smoketh is a testimony, and plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness, and a standing uh, pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. So she was a standing pillar of salt, in an unbelieving soul, according to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, verse 7. So it was just nice because you're getting a little bit more context. You're getting a little bit more uh, expansion uh, of scripture and of um, historical account, right? So let us move on to the commentary of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, 1 to 21. 
This chapter of the Wisdom of Solomon continues to extol the virtues and powers of the divine wisdom. It recounts several instances from biblical history where wisdom played a crucial role in preserving the righteous and enduring justice. So number one, preservation of the first formed father, Adam. Wisdom is created with preserving Adam, the first formed father, who was created alone. It emphasized that wisdom gave him power to rule all things. Number two, the flood and the preservation of the righteous. When the unrighteous Cain turned away from the wisdom and murdered his brother, the earth was drowned in a flood. However, wisdom preserved the righteous, directing them in a small piece of wood, like referring to Noah and the ark. Very interesting. So I hadn't shared this with too many people, but I may have held, may have held, I, I don't know for sure, but it does make sense actually from the guy that I was holding it from and, and all his accolades and all, I've, I saw pictures of him with rulers around the world, but uh, a, a piece of um, the wood uh, of the Ark from Turkey. So where they claim, you know, a Mount Ararat that the Ark is sitting there and uh, of course people would dig up, you know, pieces of wood or petrified wood or whatever. So that was the wood that I held. Um, very, very old. Uh, it claimed to be anyways. So interesting, right? <clears throat> and he is he is from Middle East, so uh, in Turkey and stuff. So it, it does actually make more sense that he would attain it as opposed to others attain it, but still pretty cool. Uh, number three, the destruction of the wicked cities. Wisdom is said to have delivered the righteous man Lot from the fire that fell upon the five cities, Sodom and Gomorrah. The continuing effect of the wickedness are described through the smoking wasteland and plants bearing fruit that never ripen. Lot's wife, who turned into a pillar of salt, is seen as a monument of an unbelieving soul. The deliverance of the righteous, number four. Wisdom delivered those who attain upon her from pain. You can see that uh, as Solomon describes wisdom, he describes it as a her because uh, wisdom is one of the seven spirits of the Holy Spirit and it is actually one of the female attributes. It's, uh, it's a moment when finally it's not just he, but it's she, right? When the righteous Joseph fled uh, from his brother's wrath, wisdom guided him showed him the kingdom of God, and enriched him in travels. Wisdom defended him from the enemies, gave him victory over conflicts, and brought him perpetual glory. Number five, the deliverance of bondage. Wisdom did not forsake the righteous even when he was sold. Oh, this commentation's perfect. Um, she went down with him into the pit, did not leave him in bonds, and ultimately brought him the scepter of the kingdom, granted power against oppressors, Accusers were shown to be liars, and the righteous gained perpetual glory. Number six is deliverance of the righteous people. Wisdom delivered the righteous people and their blameless seed from oppressive nations. Number seven, guidance and protection. Wisdom entered into the soul of the servant of the Lord, withstanding dreadful kings through wonders and signs. The righteous were rewarded for their labors, guided in marvelous ways, and protected by day and night. Ah, so it's a picture of, of wisdom over top. I wonder if you can, you can um, tie wisdom into the pillar of cloud and the fire by night as well. I mean, it's food for thought. <clears throat> Something to ponder about. Number eight, miraculous crossing of the Red Sea. Wisdom facilitated the crossing of the Red Sea, drowning the enemies and bringing the righteous safely through much water. It's interesting. I never, you know, uh, atone wisdom in those in that situation, in that scenario. It's not my first uh, uh, thought, you know, when I'm reading that. But that's very interesting. <clears throat> Victory and praise. Number nine, the righteous with the help of wisdom spoil the ungodly, praising the holy name of God and magnifying his hand that fought for them. And number 10 is the gift of eloquence. Wisdom is credited with opening the mouth of the dumb and making the tongues of the speechless eloquent. Agreed. I don't think it could be put much better than that. In summary, this chapter underscores the theme that wisdom is not merely an abstract concept, but a dynamic force that actively intervenes in human affairs, preserving the righteous, guiding their path, and ensuring justice. The narrative draws on various biblical events to illustrate the transformative power of divine wisdom. So let us move into prayer. <clears throat> In the Chronicles of Old, Wisdom and the Guardian of Creation preserved the first form father of the world, empowering him to rule over all things. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we humbly come before you, O God of mercy and wisdom. We thank you for lessons found in the sacred text of the wisdom of Solomon, where your guiding hand and the grace of wisdom are revealed. Lord Jesus, grant us the gift of wisdom as we navigate the paths of our lives. As Solomon sought understanding to rule with justice, so we seek the discernment to make righteous decisions in our daily affairs. In the face of challenges and conflicts, may your wisdom, Holy Spirit, be our guide. Help us to discern right from wrong, to choose love over hatred, and seek justice and righteousness in all our actions. Just as wisdom, Holy Spirit, preserve the righteous and delivered them from trials. We ask for your protection and guidance in our lives, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When we face the fires of adversity, be our refuge and fortress. Lord Yeshua, in your infinite wisdom, open our hearts and minds to understand the mysteries of your will, God. May we walk in the light of your truth, and may we and may your Holy Spirit dwell within us, leading us in the path of righteousness. As we reflect on the stories of old, May we learn from the mistakes of the ungodly and aspire to live accordingly to your divine wisdom. Grant us the humility to seek your guidance in all things, acknowledging that without you, we can do nothing. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen and amen. So let us end with a song based off of today's reading in the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10. And this song is titled, Wisdom's Triumph. In the dawn of creation she stood, preserving the Father, the first of all that's good. Alone he was formed, given power to reign, wisdom's grace in every earthly domain. O wisdom, guide our way, through the night and into the day. Through floods and fire you remain, in your light righteousness we gain. When the unrighteous in anger turn away, fury led to murder, a brother's life did sway. Wisdom guided the righteous, directed the just. Through a piece of wood, she preserved the trust. O wisdom, guide our way. Through the night and into the day, through floods and fire, you remain. In your light, righteousness we gain. The wicked in conspiracy, confused by her might. Wisdom found the righteous, kept blameless in God's sight. Against tender compassion, she made him strong, preserving the righteous in a world gone wrong. From the fire that fell on cities, the righteous fled. A monument of salt, the unbeliever's bed. The wasteland smokes, a testimony to sin. Wisdom's obedience, let destruction begin. O wisdom, guide our way, through the night and into the day. Through floods and fire you remain. In your light, righteousness we gain. In their foolishness, they left behind. A memorial of sin for all of mankind, humankind. But wisdom in her mercy, delivered from pain, guided the righteous, making his travails gain. O wisdom, guide our way through night and into the day. Through floods and fire you remain. In your light, righteousness we gain. Solid and forsaken, wisdom did not depart. Into the pit she entered the righteous heart. Defended from enemies, giving the victor's might. Perpetual glory, revealing goodness light. O wisdom, guide our way through the night and into the day. Through floods and fire you remain. In your light, righteousness we gain. She delivered the righteous covered by day. A light of stars guiding, showing the way. Through Red Sea's waters, a miraculous feat, drowning their foes, their defeat complete. O wisdom, guide our way, through the night and into the day. Through floods and fire you remain, in your light righteousness we gain. The righteous praised, their foes overthrown, wisdom's eloquence making the mute intone. For in wonder and signs, her power is shown, a triumphant anthem to wisdom's throne. Shalom and shalom until next time. May God keep you and bless you. Bye for now.